Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship the King of Kings. Let God be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. You know, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah chapter 62, <clears throat> the Bible says, For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace. Hear that word very well. It said, For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness. Until the righteousness of the children of God go forth as brightness. Hallelujah. And, at the, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that bonnet. Hallelujah. As a lamp that bonnet. You know, this message is very direct. They touch the wrong thing, the wrong one. Yes, child of God, they are going to wish that they did not touch you, that they did not come for you, that they did not wish you bad, that they did not wish you all the things that they have wished you in life. Hallelujah. That they did not perform that witchcraft that they have performed against you, that voodoo, that plans, that evil things that they have done in the secret. Do you know why? Because God will not rest for the sake of Jerusalem. God will not rest for Zion's sake. And this is to remind you that Zion is not forsaken. In other words, God will bring judgment to those that come after the brightness of, the right, of your righteousness. You know, righteousness go forth as brightness according to the word of God. So when you serve the Lord, when you live a cautious life, when I mean a cautious life, a life that where you observe your salvation, where you are careful, where you are careful, when you know that God is the highest authority, where you see God and you accept him as the highest authority that he is, brightness will always come forth in that case. Brightness will always come forth in the life of a man that observes his salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that salvation that he or she is observing, the Bible said, therefore, as a lamp that burneth, as a lamp that burneth, nothing can stand on the way of that man. Nothing can stand. And the Bible said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Touch not. It didn't say touch some and leave some. No. If you are an anointed child of God, the Bible has given a command that must be obeyed. That you are untouchable by the enemies. So they are going to wish that they did not touch you. Why? Because for your sake, the Lord will not hold his peace. Until he brings judgment. Until he brings judgment. Into that situation. Hallelujah. Yes, the Bible says, What a fearful thing for anyone to fall in the hands of God. What a fearful thing. Yes, they are going to wish they did not touch you, that they, did, they never even come close to you at all. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus loves you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.